Okay, welcome everybody. This is writing a group paper using Blackboard's wiki tool. And if we could take a look at the uh, relationship between the pages of our hobby wiki, it would look something like this. We would have the table of contents page, which everyone edits, uh, and links lead off to the individual pages, which only that author edits. Uh, now, the important thing to remember is that some pages everyone edits, that is the table of contents page, and other pages only one person edits, that is the owner of it. Now this is just one format or one version uh, of the hobby of the wiki uh, in that we have some individual pages and some common pages. But there's other ways that we could structure the wiki. For example, we could have jointly edited pages, uh, that is Every wiki page is going to be jointly edited by everyone. And this would be a uh, graphical representation of that. Uh, we have an introduction page, which has an introduction uh, to the topic that the group is writing about. And then links lead off to the different pages for topics 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then finally, links lead to a, a page, which is the conclusion. And some of the topic pages have links to the internet when appropriate. Or we could have a jointly edited paper, which is very linear in structure. Let's say that I just wanted to assign to you a normal paper. And so you could just do it on one uh, wiki page. Or if you want, you could split it up between a title page, a body page, and the references. Uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. But the key point in this diagram and the previous one is that everyone will be editing these pages together and it will be a jointly edited paper. And that's what the three article literature review is going to be. You're going to do it online and you're going to use the wiki tool. But this time what you're going to be doing is there's not going to be any individual pages there's just going to be one group page or maybe a couple group pages and you will edit that jointly and the rest of the slideshow is to talk about how you go about editing that jointly so let's take a look at a an example or a test uh, wiki page as I'm talking about uh, here's how it will look we're using a slightly different one uh, slightly different uh, wiki uh, package than we did for the hobby wiki uh, but things are very similar and I'll point out the differences as we go through and uh, this is one version of the uh, you know, uh, page and let's just start to go through it and I'll point out different things uh, first off one of the most important things about a wiki which is what a wiki really is about and how it aids us in working together to edit one single paper is the hi history button. And uh, to uh, see the history button, you have to go over to the page, uh, which would be the three article literature review. And you notice there's a little down arrow next to that. If you click on that, then this pop up window comes up and you just click on history. And here we see the history page. So far, uh, the literature review has gone through seven revisions and uh, you know each revision if you click on it uh, you will get to see what that revision was so if we go down to the bottom the first version of it uh, if we click on that text this is what we'll see a window will pop up and this will show the first version of the wiki page and in this case it's blank because somebody created this uh, created the page but didn't put anything into it. So we'd have to go to the second version to see you know, something. And so I clicked the second version and the window popped up and this is the second version. Somebody started out by taking a paragraph they wrote and putting it into the wiki. Just they cut and paste it from their word processor, saved it, and that's their contribution so far to the wiki. And then in a later uh, contribution, somebody else in a different version 
added the text that's in uh, green. So as you can see, one way in which you can use the wiki to work together is you can open it up and then you can cut and paste another paragraph into it, which doesn't sound all that interesting and that's really not what's important, but I just wanted to show you that. But here's where it get, gets interesting. Notice that there's the checkboxes next to the different versions. Well, let's go and check two of the versions, like let's check version 2 and let's check version 7, and then I'm going to click that Compare Version button, and here's where it gets interesting. So this is what we'll see when we do that, and what this is is the two versions, but what's been done to them uh, between the second version and the seventh version. And if this looks confusing, don't worry, because on the top of that window, uh, there are two things that can help you out. You could click Compare Details, Comparison Details, and it will tell you that we have version 2 and version 7. And it will tell you that uh, we have uh, one author and another author. We can also click Legend. And when we do that, what we're going to see is this. Uh, text that has been added from version 2 to version 7 will be in green. And text that has been removed from version 2 going to version 7 uh, will be in red with a strike through, uh, through it. And there's also uh, different colors and different uh, legends for images that have been removed or added. So what we notice is that when we start out, that first sentence there, academic life is, is fraught with stress, uh, that has been removed uh, somewhere along the line between versions number two and version number seven. And then the new text for new college students, that has been added. Now the demands of academia is in uh, clear text, so that means that that's what stayed from version number two. And so we can see that so far somebody has done a great deal of editing when they have been working on uh, this first paragraph. They've cut out a lot of uh, the first paragraph and they've replaced it uh, with new material that's in green. Uh, that is, is an eight-week me uh, meditation-based program that introduces students to the concepts and practices of mindful meditation. That end of the paragraph all the way to the end of that paragraph has been added. So another important thing about the comparisons is that let's say somebody took out some text that you thought should have stayed in. Uh, what you can do is you can very easily find that text and cut and paste it into the current version. And so here's how you go about doing it because there's a trick to it. So uh, notice the uh, highlighted uh, red uh, text. The MBCUL group showed vast. Well, uh, to cut that and uh, paste it into version 7, here's the trick. You have to open up a notepad, and you have to cut it from uh, this window, paste it into the notepad, and then what you do is you close this uh, comparison page, and you edit the wiki, current wiki page. And then what you do is you copy from the notepad and paste it in to where you want to put it, uh, into the current wiki page, then you save it. And here we see the uh, difference between versions 3 and 4, and as you can see there's only been a few edits. And this is probably the better way to go, that after making just one set of conceptual changes, saving it, so that's a new version. So other people can see what was changed and what was saved, and you can very easily discuss the different changes that you made and whether or not they should be made or not. And so as you can see, the material in red was removed and the material in green added. So they edited around basically to uh, make it a little bit uh, easier to read. And uh, while we're doing this, what we need to do is we need to coordinate our efforts. Uh, so you're going to have on your group page, the group wiki, which we've talk, I've just talked about. You're going to have also a discussion board uh, that you can use to talk about what you're doing. And you're also going to have a file exchange 
where you can post different files like uh, PDFs of research articles. And here's a look at the file exchange. Uh, different students have posted PDFs or other uh, files of different research articles. They've given them the names that allow them to understand you know, refer to them. Uh, and uh, when you're working on your three article uh, literature review, I would strongly encourage you or require you to do this. Uh, when you're writing about your uh, article that you've read, what I'd like you to do is post the article on the group's file exchange. And then also we have a discussion forum, which I call the talk page, uh, which allows you to talk about with other editors or other students who are editing that page what you're doing. And so we see that we have two main threads here. One thread is talking about version 8. Another is need more on Lynch. So let's take a look at some of the posts. So uh, students 3 and 4 are talking about need more on Lynch. Uh, they say we need to make sure that we refer to the MBSR and the MBSC earlier in the paper. Uh, that's because if they're talking about these concepts, they have to be introduced earlier. And student number four responds, well, we're missing the reference citations for the MBSR and the MBSC. So uh, student number four is suggesting that whoever has that information should add it to the reference list. And here we go looking at uh, version number eight. A student asks, what does a trigger area mean? The term's not in Lynch's article. Why include it uh, from the earlier draft? And here, student number eight is talking about uh, the student who put that sentence back into version seven, making version eight. Uh, why are we putting that back in? Uh, somebody took it out for a reason, and the reason is that uh, this term trigger area is not really in Lynch's article and it doesn't make obvious sense. And so student two who probably did the edit said, I thought it was in Lynch but I checked and it's not so I removed it. And they went back and they deleted that version. And here we see what they did. Uh, they went to the history page and they clicked the check mark box, the check box for version 8. Remember version 8 only had the change to that one sentence they made. And then they hit the delete button, which deleted that version. And so the current version of the wiki would be that version 7. And so uh, I mentioned the reference list. And the thing is, and we're gonna, I'm going to talk about it in another uh, you know, video, it's kind of difficult to edit the wiki page like it's a normal word processor page. And it's kind of difficult to make it look good and presentable like a uh, word process paper. So we're going to have to do some tricks to kind of make it work. Uh, you can't do a page break on a wiki. So in some cases, it might be better just to basically create a new page. And so, for example, we can't really put a page break and then put the reference list. So why don't we just put a link to the references uh, that looks APA stylish and then put all the references in a different page. And so that's what we're going to do. So what we do is we click the create wiki page, which is adding another wiki page. And I call that references. And there it shows up uh, you know, on the uh, right hand side. And then here I click references and I go to the new page. And so here we are uh, formatting it to look like an APA style reference page. And then don't forget at the bottom, you need to have a return link to go back uh, to the main page. And of course, this slideshow was just a very quick walkthrough of the steps that you would have to do uh, to edit together. Uh, the only way you're really going to learn is to start to do it. And built into the whole three article literature review thing uh, is time for you lear to learn how to work together and understand how to edit together. Because basically this is an online course, so we can't meet in person. 
Uh, we can't talk about a group paper that we're working on together in person. So there has to be some other way in which we do that online. And the wiki tool and the discussion board talk page, uh, this is the way that we go about uh, you know, you know, communicating and working together online. Uh, and as I've always said, uh, group work uh, you know, really does uh, add to your learning. Uh, it uh, you know, you know, increases the skills that you have to work with other people, uh, but it also forces you to have a deeper level of understanding of what you're talking about and what you're writing about because you have to explain that to other editors uh, or the other students who are editing that page. So uh, that's it for this slideshow. Uh, the next slideshow or something, I haven't figured it out yet, will be about the mechanics of editing uh, the uh, wiki page in terms of HTML code. So I'll talk to you then.